The spring of 1917 witnessed one of the most ambitious and ill-fated offensives of World War I, Nivelle's Coup, conceived by the French General Robert Nivelle. This offensive aimed to break the deadlock on the Western Front and achieve a decisive victory for the Allies. However, the reality of the offensive starkly contrasted with its lofty goals, leading to significant consequences and reshaping the course of the war. This video delves into the motivations, execution, and aftermath of Nivelle's coup. 1. Background and Stalemate By 1917, the Western Front had become a quagmire of trench warfare, with neither side achieving a decisive breakthrough. The need for a game-changing offensive was palpable, and General Nivelle, known for his self-confidence and charisma, proposed a plan that he believed could bring about a swift and conclusive victory. 2. Nivelle's Promise General Nivelle promised a swift and spectacular success with his plan, known as the Nivelle Offensive or the Second Battle of the Aisne. He asserted that a breakthrough on the Aisne River would lead to the collapse of the German defenses, ending the war by the summer of 1917. 3. Innovations and Tactics Nivelle's plan incorporated innovative tactics, including the extensive use of creeping barrages, sophisticated artillery bombardments, and surprise attacks. These tactics were intended to overcome the challenges posed by entrenched defenses and break the cycle of stalemate. 4. The Offensive Unleashed In April 1917, Nivelle's coup was set into motion. The French forces launched a massive assault along the Aisne River, with the aim of punching through the German lines and advancing deep into enemy territory. The initial stages of the offensive saw some success, but it came at a staggering cost. 5. High Casualties and Stagnation The offensive, despite its initial gains, quickly bogged down. The French forces encountered heavily fortified German defenses and suffered devastating casualties. The promised breakthrough turned into a protracted and bloody battle, and the situation on the ground did not align with Nivelle's optimistic projections. 6. Mutinies and discontent The staggering losses and lack of progress took a toll on the morale of the French troops. Widespread discontent and frustration among the soldiers culminated in mutinies in the French army. Troops, exhausted and disillusioned, refused to continue the offensive, marking a severe blow to the military's effectiveness. 7. Repercussions and Leadership Change Nivelle's coup not only failed to achieve its objectives but also led to a crisis of leadership. General Robert Nivelle, once hailed as a savior, faced criticism and lost the confidence of his superiors and subordinates alike. In May 1917, he was replaced by General Philippe Pétain. 8. Legacy and Lessons Learned The failure of Nivelle's coup had far-reaching consequences. It highlighted the inadequacy of relying solely on military breakthroughs to end the war, and underscored the importance of realistic planning. The mutinies revealed the toll of prolonged warfare on the mental and physical well-being of the soldiers. 9. Shift in Allied Strategy Following the failure of Nivelle's offensive, the Allies shifted their strategy. The emphasis turned towards a more comprehensive approach, incorporating political, economic, and military elements. The stalemate on the Western Front persisted, but the lessons learned paved the way for a more nuanced and sustainable Allied strategy.